I try to there's 11 defensive linemen listed on the on the depth chart. How, how valuable was that? That that many guys that you can that you <coughs> play. I think it's real valuable, just simply because you know with that depth and going into the game, it's our first game, so we don't really know how the uh, weather gonna be. We don't know how if a guy gonna get tired. I mean, of course we train for it, but you know, until that until that time comes, you never really know what's gonna happen. So we we taking eleven guys into the game, and we are gonna try to rotate. So you know, we'll still be fresh when the fourth quarter comes. Just how, how impressive is it that Marlon Davidson was able to come in here as a freshman and earn starting spot? Uh, it, it's very impressive. It just shows that uh, the type of guy he is he just he just want to work and compete and get better, and I always try to win a uh, starting job. You guys have spent so much hype around the, the talent level on this defensive line, but yet some of those guys haven't really done it, you know, as starters or whatever. How, how motivated are you guys to kind of prove to live up to the hype, not to, not to get carried away with it, but to live up to it? Um, <clears throat> we, we really want to live up to it a lot, you know, just because, like, um, we, we, we haven't really had that, that good D-line like everybody want, and we, we haven't been too good on, you know, third down, so I would consider that pass rush as in getting off the field. So, you know, uh, now with everybody saying that we can't do that, you know, we just want to live up to the hype and go out and show everybody that we can. Montrevious, I know every game the goal is to get to the quarterback, make him uncomfortable. Is it more important in this game to do that? I would say so, simply because, you know, it's the first game and, you know, just from what we came off last year, we we trying to earn everybody respect back. So uh, I believe you know everybody know Deshaun Watson, you know a Heisman candidate, and he's he's a great quarterback. But I believe if if we can get to him, I mean I feel like we can get to a lot of quarterbacks in the league. Who has who has played him in scout team? Ken Newton, somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean we we got a lot of uh, different quarterbacks, but. Uh, Really, really, it, we got like four, four, four Deshaun Watsons out there. <laughs> How do you guys feel going into this game, you know, preparing to defend against the Heisman Conference? Heisman I mean, we, intimidating and all. I wouldn't say it's intimidating, you know. I mean, we all got one main goal, and that's to uh, win the game. So, and I mean, we got here for a reason, so, you know. We're going to go out there. We're going to perform to the best of our ability. We're going to execute Coach Steele's plan. And, you know, we're going to try to try to win the game. There's a lot of hype about the defensive line and then obviously a lot of hype about Deshaun Watson. Is there extra motivation there to sort of prove that your hype is more warranted than his, perhaps? I mean, I, w I would say so just because, you know, uh, he's supposed to be great. We're supposed to be great. So, you know, it's like, you know, it's like clash. So. You know, but at the end of the day, so it's gonna show on Saturday. Mom, can you talk a little bit about points of emphasis with the defense? First game, like tackling, toughness, stuff like that. Uh, what they are and how important it is to go through Kevin Steele's plan and carry it out. I would really say the uh, main point of emphasis is third down. Just getting off the field on third down, uh, and when we when we do execute a pass rush. Not just executing, but making sure we make the tackle, you know, because it's been a lot of times we get back there, be great, great pass rush, and then, you know, a quarterback leak out and run out for like an extra first down. So really it's just making sure we uh, we get that tackle and, and getting turnovers. Facing a guy like Watson, some defenses have had a spot just to watch where he goes. Who on this defense you think could do that? <laughs> uh, well, you, uh, really, you would have to ask Coach Steele that, you know. Uh, he's a defense coordinator, so really, whoever he trusts to go into the game and be that spy. Who do you think is capable of being able to keep up with it on defense? Like a linebacker or Rudy, could he, could he, could he do that? I would, I would say Rudy can, you know. He's one of the fastest guys on our team, you know, top two. And uh, Oja, Oja Vars. But, you know, uh, I feel like how hard we've been working and what we work for, uh, Whoever coach uh, trusts to put on them, they're gonna they're gonna do their job. Couple more. Come on, as a player, on, when you get an offense in, in the third and long and, and they convert, sometimes if you feel the energy in the stadium kind of go out a little bit. As a player, how do you 
you know, overcome that and get ready to play the next down? I just think uh, when they do get a third down, you know, we should come back that next play, get like a tackle for loss, you know, or just something like that, you know, to get the crowd back into it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we can play well, but with the crowd and with their help, we'll, we'll uh, perform better.